Hello, this is Victor at RestoringMercedes.com. This video is for German car care in Texas. And this is the working throttle. I just want to make a video about it since it's been on the bench overnight. And it's pretty hot. I still have to finish it. So I'm going to finish it. But before it gets cold, I just want to show the, the operation. Now, um, the clutch coil. This is the clutch coil that you find in typical throttle. Like this. It was bad. But it's very difficult to get it out. And alignment is very difficult as well so I got it out I rebuilt it and put it in so now unit is active and here is the temperature on the unit as you can see internal temperature is really really high and that means that the coil has been working for quite a long time uh, on the case you usually get less heat because aluminum dissipates heat but the coil itself it's really really hot so that's good news that's um, that makes me think that the coil is fine and working properly now right now as you can see unit is energized again this is not finished yet I'm going to finish it but um, as you can see it keeps the idle pretty much what it needs to be you can see the throttle plate is adjusted by the motor and gears potentiometer everything works and the readings uh, readings let's get this full screen <clears throat> this is our readings pretty much equal and when I open throttle plate as you can see potentiometer R1 changes because this is a mechanical linkage that goes straight onto the potentiometer it opens closes mechanically plate follows now the second readings I want to show is potentiometer R2 which is above that one is the potentiometer that sits with the clutch coil so for me to do that I have to remove the gear see when I remove the gear the throttle tries to locate its its idle and I can actually make it go to idle by changing potentiometer And you can also see the readouts on top. So let's open it up. Now it went into limp mode because whatever the well because the gear you couldn't bring the plate to the right positioning. But as you can see the readouts they change. I can move throttle plate adjust into the R2 potentiometer and readings will change. And see clutch coil is still I believe it's still it's still active the clutch coil because gear follows so there we have it I mean we got readouts from potentiometers we got also idle speed contact if I'm gonna go back to idle then the safety contact switches so we're good in that department and um, yeah so this unit is basically good to go let me show you should have put the light on let me show you the activation of the unit so shut the power off I'm going to reset it you can see clutch coil in there activates this is the clutch coil it connects the drive gear to throttle plate gear so this is the drive gear this is going to be a throttle plate it's whatever it's, it is what it is it works I don't want to go into details too much but anyway this works this is how it's supposed to work alignment on the stoppy is perfect as well I keep switching power on and off right here so this unit is pretty much ready to go I'm going to finish it off now and off it goes micro switch clicks you can hear the micro switch activate that's the idle switch and um, yeah so this unit is pretty much good to go I'm gonna finish it off cleaned off nice A very clean unit and um, yeah the wires were terrible and the clutch coil would failed other than that the unit is pretty good all right so this is all this is Victor at the story mercedes.com thank you for watching